What is up everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well today. I'm um, doing another video. This time around it's going to be for Fallout 2. Um, it's going to be a port to the PlayStation Vita. Um, everything is compiled. The data files are there for you. You're just going to download the data files from the link that I'm going to give you in the description below. Um, also, you get to download uh, the VPK as always to install it. Um, everything's all in its right place. But if you guys are interested in trying to learn how to um, do things yourself, um, this GitHub will be down in the description below as well. Um, if you guys are interested, if not, don't worry. You know, I'm always going to throw you the data files anyway. So, um, so we'll download the VPK. It's completed. There you go. There's the files right here. Um, one thing, um, if you guys, if you if English isn't your major um, language that you use, scroll all the way down to. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Um, copy Fallout Two dot CFG, which is config. So there's the file right there. Scroll all the way down. It says language right there equals English. It says if you're using non-English Fallout 2 version or make sure that language setting is properly set in the in it language equals German or French. So I assume that if you if I hit if I type in German or French, the game will boot up as German or French. Um, if you aren't a native English speaker. But other than that, let's get to it. All right, we're here with the PlayStation side of things. Swipe to open the bubble area. Let's go down to Vita Show. Hit the X button. Now, right from here, um, hit start. Depending on what you want to use, USB or FTP, like I always do. I always do FTP, but I forgot that I changed out some settings when I bought the uh, ASUS router. Because I wanted to get rid of the... Um, my ISP's uh, router because there's a lot of things that they didn't want you to do that I like when you buy your own own products your own stuff so I'm gonna keep it USB and I'm gonna plug this bad boy in it's a little dark wrong side as always I'm gonna plug this cord into the PC and we'll be good to go we'll We'll connect and we'll drag and drop files over, install the VPK, and we should be good. So stick around. All right, welcome back, you awesome people. Let's drag and drop these files over. The D drive is going to be my USB for the um, PlayStation Vita. We're actually in the UX0 folder. It looks different because I'm so used to using the FTP. So we need to open data. Now, this is the folder that I'll be... I'm not, know what, know what, I'll do this right now. So you're going to need either WinRare, WinZip, or 7-Zip to extract this um, file or the folder or whatever. So while that's doing that, let's drag and drop that. All right, that's all complete and all said and done. Let's open this whole folder up. Let's drag and drop the VPK. Before I go, 
I want to show you uh, how big this is going to be. It is 552 megs. So if you're on a good connection, you don't have to worry about it. If you're on a wicked slow one, um, like I said earlier with the uh, with the last video I did, um, just wait, just do it when you're sleeping, like so sort of downloads during the night. So let's exit out of that. Let's go here. Eject. All right, I'll see you over at the uh, PS side of things. All right, we're back at the PlayStation side of things. You're gonna, I'm going to hit cancel on this because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to unplug. Go down to UX0. There's the data. There's Fallout 2. Let's install this. You're more than welcome to keep these VPKs or uh, delete them. It's totally up to you guys. You want to install? Yes. Give this 20 seconds. Now, like, like every other game that I've installed, it might take a little while to boot up and stuff like that, so please be patient. I'm going to delete. Delete. And delete. Now, like I said before, I'm always hitting start and rebooting. Or you can always hit the PlayStation button on the left side. Swipe out like I'm going to do. And there you go. Fallout 2. I'm going to leave it as is. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. And I'm sure you guys really want more uh, PlayStation Vita videos than the Nintendo Switch. Which I don't blame you. I understand. You know, might as well go back to my roots, huh? But uh, I'll shut up for now. Enjoy the video. There you go. Also, in the GitHub, if you scroll down, it tells you um, it's actually like a you could use your touch screen to play. But information's going to be there. Just read the description. The links will be in the description, I should say. All right. Thank you. 
birds becoming part of the background radiation that blanketed the Earth. A quiet darkness fell across the planet, lasting many years. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. When the great darkness passed, these vaults opened, and their inhabitants emerged to begin their lives again. One of the northern tribes claims they are descended from one such vault. They hold that their founder and ancestor, one known as the Vault Dweller, once saved the world from a great evil. According to their legend, this evil arose in the far south. It corrupted all it touched, twisting men inside, turning them into beasts. Only through the bravery of this Vault Dweller was the evil destroyed. But in so doing, he lost many of his friends and suffered greatly, sacrificing much of himself to save the world. When at last he returned to the home he had fought so hard to protect, he was cast out, exiled. In confronting that which they feared, he had become something else in their eyes, and no longer their champion. Forsaken by his people, he strode into the wasteland. He traveled far to the north, until he came to the Great Canyons. There he founded a small village, Arroyo, where he lived out the rest of his years. And so, for a generation since its founding, Arroyo has lived in peace, its canyons sheltering it from the outside world. It is home. Your home. But the scars left by the war have not yet healed.